It's time for love after lock up, baby. Lindsay and Scott, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that again. Yes, so they just decided to give us a little update. And I'm sad they didn't actually show us Shanda and Tyrese because they're from this same season as well. I would love to know what Shanda is up to. Last we saw her, she was being all awkward and weird. Uh, she'd lost a lot of weight. She was plucking things and doing gardening. And she seemed very out of it and very zen and very, I don't know. And we saw Tyrese who was with another woman who at least was a little bit more around his age. And he was like, nice and tight, just right with the toothpick. Nice and tight, just right. <laughs> and I really wanted to see what that relationship <laughs> ended up looking like. But hey, maybe we'll be surprised and see him. Uh, because Not to mention Jessica and Maurice child. I heard Maurice is back in prison, which is just terrible because they have a little, what is it, baby boy together. But yeah, I think they just didn't want to be part of the love after lockup, life after lockup situation anymore. They were doing well for themselves until they weren't uh, with him in jail now. I don't know how that situation is going, but we didn't get an update on them. And who can forget Heather and Dylan? Yeah, Dylan is back in prison as well. He was doing a business. I hope this is not the same thing that happens to John in the end. He was seemed to be doing very well, had a business, and a lot of people were like, mm -mm, he's allegedly a con man, always will be a con man. But it was so promising. It looked so promising, and we thought that he would go on the straight and narrow. But there was some interesting stuff in the mix. So now he's back in prison as well, and he's with a new chick. I think it's his fiance, and she's just waiting. So, yeah, I think there's there's no much of a story you can make out of that. But yeah, we didn't see an update on these people, which is fine. It's none of our business. It's not our life. But I hope they all get the restoration that they need. Was she also an ex-inmate? Something like that. It was ratchet. And um, yeah, maybe we'll see them in the next season. I do not know. But in any case, it doesn't matter. Because first of all, it's none of our business. But second of all, there's enough ratchet people in the world to go around for them to make 5,000 million gazillion seasons. So we will never have nothing to talk about, okay? We will always have a love and life after lockup. Uh, yeah. Until the day we don't. <laughs> But you know, for now, I think they're definitely going to be making some seasons because it is popular and we love it. So in any case, let's see what Scott and Lindsay have been up to. Scott is single and living in Mississippi in the house he bought for Lindsay. They put air quotes, bought for Lindsay. And that was Lindsay's kid over there. And Lindsay is facing six to ten whopping years in prison. So by the time she comes out, her daughter might have been married. Her daughter might have been like, you know, she's probably never going to actually be living with her daughter. Her daughter will make a life for herself, move out, have her own place. This is wild, you guys. This is crazy. And this woman is still on the phone, smiling and whatnot. Although this might have been before she went in. But, ooh wee. And that's the end of these people. Don't think we're going to see them again. Definitely not. The way that was left, it is what it is. Um, yeah. It, it just... Some people might just, that's what Poppy was talking about, that it's hard for people to rehabilitate into society because they're not giving any help. And the people that, that knew them, that are on the, that are in the normal world, in the real world, don't even know how to help these people. They're not giving classes or lessons on how to help rehabilitate these people. These people are just left out there to just fend for themselves. So it is, it's terrible and it's very, very sad. And, um. Yeah, these are the people that become repeat uh, offenders. And that's what people are saying. They come out there in this world and they do not know what to do. They do not know where to go. They do not know how to start. And it's it's terrible. It's actually terrible. And it's sad. It's very sad. There are a few that make it through, but others are forever inmates. It's just a revolving door. They just keep going back in there. And not a child, not a cute child, not a good life, not a good person loving them. Not that freedom, not the... Ah, smell the roses, it's amazing out here. None of that is good enough to help them stay out of trouble. It's very sad. What did we learn from this couple? And was it a pleasure meeting them? No, absolutely not. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Bye. <laughs> it definitely wasn't. They gave us a lot of stress. Um, but yeah, what did we learn? Um, probably keep locks on all your things in your in your uh stationary place, in your computer room, whatever you want to call it, because there's people out here who just like to scatter all your documents everywhere, aka Lindsay. Um also um 
yeah if somebody doesn't seem to have any friends that's maybe a little bit strange because scott didn't have any friends at all that we could see and lindsay also said that she all he has is those two dogs and that was crazy Mm, don't be a mom like Lindsay's mom who just let everything slide as she was throwing all his stuff out and all the stuff was out and she was just all over the place just chucking everything onto the lawn and she said nothing went into her car and skedazzled out of there don't be that mom stand your ground even if you have a rotten horrible child stand your ground and be a good parent in any case I don't only do love after luck of life after luck of life. I have various videos on here I have hundreds of videos on a whole lot of topics so if you want to see what I'm talking about anything and everything pertaining to life go to my playlist and just browse around in any case if you're not already part of this family make sure you hit bumps thumb as on to the subscribe button comment because I really want to know what you think like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're it I'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow daily videos up in here in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to say what let me try it god bless and all that before my battery runs out yes i said that really really quick once my battery is about to run out okay bye